ខ្ញុំព្រះកណាយើងខ្ញុំទាំងអស់គ្នាសូមគ្រប់ថ្វាយបង្គំព្រះធេរានុធេរៈគ្រប់ព្រះអង្គជាទីសករៈសូមគ
hay chỉ cách bản tốt tự tiết này dương khí nhóm xong chấp đám cam vị thi bởi chúng tốt mù xong này xong này khí nhé chìa phía xa ông lê xong anh chú anh chú ruông xong bạp đâu tốt tự nhiên chà hay chỉ bản tốt tự tiết nhưng khí nhóm có xong bởi con microphone chung tự khí mùi chó vi khí mùi chó vi xong chơi xong ốc con nhạc mình nà rì xuân Good evening and welcome to Supreme Council Khmer Hill Khmer for Rescue Lady Viewpoint. Tonight we are very excited about our first show. And I would like to say thank you to our viewer for joining us tonight. And now I would like to introduce our panelists this evening. Right now we have Tina Seth and we have Mrs. Kalia Nu and of course Mrs. Nari Soon and bong di sam and of course my name is chop but i am your host tonight first i would like to let audience out there know that we are not a professional speaker or show host by the way english is our second language we are just a normal my housewife that just care about our homeland as you could tell that we are the young generation after the war we decided to do this show in English to share our experience and insight with other Kon Khmer that lack knowledge of Khmer politics and history. Tonight, we have, a, we have a wonderful topic to share with everyone. Who is Dr. Ray Chatham? Ladies, are you ready? Yes. Lady, before we begin our main topics, I would like to let everyone know that we all come together tonight to share a common pain. Our common pain is the tear of our people and cry of our motherlands. During the Khmer Empire era, King Jay Varman VII, our land was more than one million square kilometer. For the last 70 years and now under Hun San regime, our land is continuously shrinking. Per the Cambodian constitution, Khmer land is 181,035 square kilometer. And now it is only 176,520 square kilometer. According to the Australian Ministry of Foreign Affairs website, besides losing our land under this evil Hun Sen government, our people are suffering endlessly. Our youngsters are migrating to neighboring country to seek low unskilled labor work by the millions. Our natural resources being looted endlessly beyond the horizon. Overflow of foreigners, Chinese and Vietnamese are taking over our land. As a result, of that destruction and suffering, we all constant search for a solution to our pain. Ladies, just we found our solution. Our solution is His Excellency Professor Dr. Ray Chatham. He is the commander in chief and the founder of Supreme Council Khmer Hill Khmer for Rescue. You see ladies, His Excellency share the same suffering just like us. He has observed many opposition groups the past 30 years at their attempt to change our country, but they have failed. For this reason, His Excellency decided to take action in his own hand, and he made a lot of progress in the last 12 months. I am very positive that the time has come. He will make things right not like year 1993 because he is not Sihanu, he is not Hun Sen, and he is not Sam Riangsi. He is His Excellency Professor Dr. Ray Chatdown. Dr. Ray Chatdown. Kalyan, let me start with you tonight. What can you share with us tonight? Um, His Excellency Dr. Ray Chatdown. I understand he is an extraordinary person. I hope you could share a few things. I am so excited. Let's just get room warm up on. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, Bong Chavi, you are absolutely right. We are not professional speaker and English is our second language, but we are going to do our best for His Excellency. 
Monchali, our common pain is very painful indeed. In regard to your comment, I would like to assure all of my out there that the historical 1991 Cambodia Paris Peace Agreement will cancel all agreements and treaties that Hun Sen regime signed from 1979 to the present day because all are illegal. Mong Kalyan, may I ask you why it is illegal? Can you please elaborate it for me a little bit, please? Yes, on Chavi, I mean, on, excuse me, on China, sorry. Um, because all those treaties violated the Cambodia sovereignty and against the principle of the 1991 Cambodia Paris Peace Agreement. And recently, they continue to violate Cambodia's sovereignty again and again. And here's an example. This illegal single party government and non compliant parliament to the 1991 Cambodia Paris Peace Agreement has approved the illegal government, approved the loan for the Ill illegal government to go into more debt for our own Khmer. We are, as the new republic government, will not be responsible for or recognize those loans. Mm. Now, let's get started with um, our topic for tonight. And I thank you so much, ladies, for the opportunity. I am very excited and looking forward to sharing with our Kong Khmer around the world about Dr. Ray Chat Dam. First, I must say this, and this is very, very important to know. His Excellency Professor Dr. Ray Chat Dam is the only Kong Khmer ever to hold this powerful financial position in the world, never in the history of the Khmer Empire. I am so proud to be Kong Khmer, and I'm sure you ladies are too, just like His Excellency. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but the, pre the professional people that dealt with his excellency called him Dr. No, N-O, because of his business ethic and his persistence, his mind is faster than lightning and sharper than a razor. Absolutely. I, I believe he is on call, yeah. <laughs> yes. I believe you. Yeah. Yes, he is, Mong, and uh, Mong Say Tampi, uh, both Mong. <laughs> um, I would briefly share a few things about my personal ex uh, view of His ex Excellency. Then I will come back um, to add what's needed after you ladies had your chance to share your view. Dr. Ray Chat Dam is a proud Cambodian. He was mm -hmm. born in Cambodia, was mm -hmm. educated in institution of higher learning in Premier University, in the United States, mm -hmm. England, Europe, Australia, and Australia at the expense of United States government for some 20 years. Oh. The truth is, I have never met anyone with this many credentials or recognitions. I am very, very fascinated by his responsibility and duties to the world. As I re remember um, back in January the 20th, 1995, Dr. Ray Chatham was appointed by the governments of the world to be, to be the sole arbiter, owner, and controller of the international collateral combined accounts of the global debt facility. Now, ladies, um, these responsibilities sound very convoluted and a bit high level of information to understand right away. But I assure you, ladies, and all phone come out there, that these facts are real, and Dr. Ray Chatdam is going to with financial power and one hour, one of our business associates called His Excellency GOF. Un unbelievable, own colleague Yan. Uh, also, can you please explain what is a GOF mean? GOF yeah. mean, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, G yeah. stands for God, O stands for of, F stands for finance, God of finance. And uh, he is my yeah. God of finance. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> you see here, ladies, um, his excellency file is secured by the U.S. Congress under the third level to the fifth level rules with oh. appointment and protective reaffirmed by the United States Senate. I would like everyone that is watching and listening to our show tonight to be assured that Dr. Ray Chatham is the most protected person. Wow. Um 
Fascinating indeed, Ong Kao Yan. Can you please clarify what do you mean by His Excellency filed secure by U.S. Congress and he is an international protected person? Uh, yes, Bang Chavi. Um, only few persons in each country of the world are eligible to be able to verify or undertake a verification reference to the position of Dr. Ray Chatham. And that such persons are limited to kings, queens, presidents, prime ministers, ministers of finance, or head of states. Yes, it is very, very fascinating. And I am still numb with the things that we all know, continue to know, and I am so sure that there's so much more to learn about Dr. Ray Chatham. Now, the U.S. government has many security clearances level, and Dr. Ray has level five, which is the highest U.S. government clearance. As I recall, back in November, uh, excuse me, October the 5th of this year, 2019, yes. he showed us one of his top level clearance batch, which was yes. the CIA batch, level five. Um, um, I, I did remember that he did show a CIA batch uh, that was very impressive for Kong Khmer that have as high as such security clearance. Thank you so much, Ong Kalyan. And uh, now let me hear from Ong China. Do you have any more information, His Excellency? Can you share with our viewer, please? Thank you. Yes, Bong. Um, I am very impressed with uh, his credential as well, Ong Kalyan. Um, on January the 20th, 1995, when he was elected by those qualified to elect under the existing international agreement in accordance with the article of the Bank for International Settlement, which is in January the 30th, 1930, I mean, uh, January the 20th, 1930, elected and appointed by the international community as the sole arbiter of all those assets that form for collateral of international combined in conformance to that agreed and assented to by the forefather of the community of nations whose central bank are connected to a war at the time connected to the Bank of International Settlement, which in a abbreviations, BIS, that's the acronym for the Bank for International Settlement. Um, these including su uh, such agreement as the tri trilateral, tripartal, trilenium pact, and with five international agreement, but not limited to these five. For example, the Britain Wood Agreement, which in New Hampshire is in 1944, the BIS Agreement with the Allies burned in 1948, the Green Hilton Agreement of Geneva in 1963, the Switzer Convention, which is Innsbruck in 1968, um, the Amendment to the Foreign Gold Act in Washington, which is also in 1972. Back to you, Bong Chavi. Wow, um, my goodness, this is um, so amazing international agreement that we all never heard until today. I actually, I'm so overwhelmed right now. Let us talk about His Excellency right to power. Kalyan, um, would you like to share with us this area? Yes, yes, I'll be happy to, Bang Chavi. Um, His Excellency power and authority that, authority or something that many people, not just going to mind, even regular Americans and people around the world could not able to comprehend and accept the truth. The fact is my husband and I, we have firsthand knowledge and with verification. His Excellency Dr. Ray Chatham has the absolute and unlimited authority to which, to which entered in the records of the United Nations and all the major financial institutions law enforcement agencies under the international control and registration with combined banks holding the asset of the account such record held within. Thank you, On Kalyana. Thank you so much. Uh, let me go back to On China. On China, can you share the audience, the name of institution that His Excellency registered with or authority with, please? Yes, Bong, um, His Excellency authorities are very powerful indeed. Let me point and name it. For example, the Federal Reserve System, the Department of Treasury, which of the United States of America, the Swiss Federal Finance Administration, the Swiss National Bank, 
and certain commercial bank, including and not limit to, for example, uh, JP Morgan, Chase City Bank, which I believe most of us bank with, uh, uh, with them here in the US, um, and then Barclay Bank, Union Bank of Switzerland, uh, Hong Kong, Shanghai Banking Corporation, Credit Suisse, et cetera. Et cetera. Here is what I think is very powerful under the authority. No decisions of the Federal Reserve or Department of the Treasury of United States or Freddie Mac or any holder may usurp the institution authority of sole arbiter or owner, which is Excellency Dr. Ray Chadam. And let me simplify it to you all in simple terms, which usurp, what usurp is. It means no king, queen, <laughs> prime minister or presence are able to seize and hold Dr. Ray position unless otherwise he wants to be removed or retire from this position on his own willingly long. Back to you. Thank you. Um, thank you, on Tina. Those all big bang, um, Tina. I understand His Excellency authority as arbiter of a combined collateral account by 12 international treaty. Can you share with us um, 12 international treaty on Tina? Yes, of course, um, Long Sai, I am very happy to name those 12 international treaties. And here are the other 12 international treaties that granted to His Excellency as the sole, sole arbiter, owner and controller of the international collateral combined account of the global debt facility. For example, Je Jekyll Island Treaty in 1910, which is located here in Georgia, where I'm at, um, the London Treaty in 1920, the second plan of the expert, 1929, the Hague Agreement in 1930, the Far East Combined Depository Agreement in 1932 and 1945, the Bretton Woods Agreement in 1944, and the BIS Allies Agreement in 1948, the Green Hilton Agreement in 1963, the Switzer Convention in 1968, the Election Appointment of Sole Arbiter Agreement in 1995, the Washington Panel 1998, and of course, the Treaty of Respecting the Right in 2003. These treaties were ratified by the sovereign nations of the world, Long Chavi. Wow, that is a lot of um, information. Now let um, turn to, yeah, to my dear Kalyan again. Um, Kalyan, what can you, what do you have anything to add here or your personal experience? Yes, yes, I do want to share my personal experience of, with everyone about His Excellency. As I remember back in 2007, when we came across a gentleman by the name of Dr. Ray, and he was also known as the Combined Global Collateral Accounts Holder. But we never knew that Dr. Ray was Khmer until December 2010 when my husband was asked to locate Dr. Ray by one of his associates. I find it uh, absolutely remarkable, Bong Kalyan. Were you surprised, Bong Kalyan, when you found out that Dr. Ray is actually Khmer? Well, my husband was so shocked. You know, he was really surprised because we didn't expect this one person so powerful that's mm -hmm. holding this financial, you know, uh, business in his hand to be kind. So yeah. when my yeah, when my husband learned this, he was so proud of himself that he's Khmer and Dr. Ray is also Khmer because my husband knew the position that Dr. Ray held was the most powerful position on the planet. Um, my yeah. husband has been researching and studying Dr. Ray's position in high level international financing in the last 12 years. And let me share with everyone here what we have learned about Dr. Ray Chatham in the last 12 years. This is something that most Khmer around the world do not realize what kind of financial and political influence His Excellency has in geopolitics. Dr. Ray Chatham is a very, very powerful person. Wow, Kalyan, uh, may I ask what makes His Excellency so powerful? Uh, bon yeah. Chavi, well, let me share, let me, let me share um, the, with everyone the seven of his many, many duties and the responsibility that made him the most powerful person. To, to make sure I um, say them correctly, I'm going to read it on my notes that I just, you know, write a little bit off here and there. 
Um, one, yeah, go, go ahead, ahead please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. One for the internet posting dated July the 17th, 2011, His Excellency Professor Dr. Ray Chatham listed as number 47 out of 52 most powerful person mm -hmm. in the world. His Excellency also a permanent member of the elite group committee of 300. Two, His Excellency Professor Dr. Ray Chatham is a mandate who controlled the largest gold bullion depository signatory of the world governance under the international treaties and authority by the government as we all seen those pictures posted on his Facebook and Google search. And I also would like to add something here. Um, there is an old saying of the golden rules and I'm sure you ladies heard of it before. The man with the most gold makes the rule and that is His Excellency Professor Dr. Ray Chatham. Of course, um, golden rule. <laughs> yeah. Three, Dr. Ray Chatham had appointed as a signatory for the committees of G7 Club of member nine people as mandate authority to purchase gold bullion since the late 1980s. Four, his Excellency currently serves as chairman of the World Elite Financial Organization under security clearance level five called UNOITC, which he served since January the 20th, 1995. He also currently governs as the commander in chief in nine regions across the globe with 205 countries. Wow. That's jaw dropping. Oh, oh, oh. Nine regions with 205 countries. It it's a huge good. job and a majestic position, Mongolian. Yes, big, big responsibility. Wow. Five, His Excellency is the incumbent of the Federal Reserve System's level five license as Grant Master. And I'm repeating this again Grant Master as collateral commitment holder and associate licensee at the largest collateral cutting house in the world. Six, His Excellency has the highest security clearance level in financial expertise and active field senior special operation officer issued by the United States, the government of the United States. Yeah, the, um, the CIA badge um, that His Excellency show on October the 5th, actually it's this year, on Kalyan. Yes, yes, yeah. he did. And seven, His Excellency Professor Dr. Ray Chatham has high access to financial clearance to all the consortium financial institution and government bodies. Bong Chavi, I hope what I just shared answer your questions. And now back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle Ria. I'm so wow of this information with his um, credential and with his responsibility to the world. Um, by the way, I didn't mean to forget about me, Nari. Me, Nari, do you have anything to add here before these two ladies share their personal experience and their comment to His Excellency, I mean? Oh, yes, dear. <laughs> to I listen to all of you. It's so wow, wow, lady. You are very impressive. Thank you so much to share about His Excellency. I'm learning a lot tonight. Thank you. Back to you, Mujavi. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, ladies, um, I have a very important question to ask. This question has to cross the mind many people. There is a conflicting um, information on Phnom Penh Post and Cambodian Daily Post of His Excellency arrest back in um, December year 2010. Golian, um, I understand that you might be able to share from your personal perspective better than most of us. Well, I know this question is coming, Bong Chavi, and I am so glad that you asked this question regarding His Excellency. Now, with His Excellency credential and position, he will be bound to get attacked from his opposition or people that are just jealous of him. And they did try mm -hmm. to kill him in order to rob his properties. Wow. They did. They took about $15 million of his personal properties in Cambodia. Now, First, we need to understand and realize his power. 
As I have stated, one of our business associates called His Excellency GOF, God of Finance. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a very, very powerful statement. His Excellency has the ability to create bank instruments like bonds and bank guarantee values in billions up to trillion dollars due to he due to the goal he has under his control which i have stated one of the seven items earlier now ladies don't you think people will do anything you know try to do anything to get his position of course absolutely oh, no. yes yeah. mm -hmm. certainly Wong is, is right here um right. desperate time desperate measures yes there are a lot of greedy people out there too. Mm -hmm. yeah. And is. you know, he, I have, yeah, and I have a very good example here to share. As we all know, Donald Trump is the president of the United States of America, the mm -hmm. leader of the free world. Yet he still gets attacked daily. He got attacked by the Democrat and the deep state with fake news day in and day out, as we all seen on TV every every day. Yeah, I agree with Bankalian. When you are this powerful, you are subject to getting attacked or devoured mm -hmm. by selfish mm -hmm. people out there, Bong. Yeah. Indeed, indeed, on China. Um, when His Excellency got arrested back in 2010 in Cambodia, he was mm -hmm. framed by a group of bad people that wanted his position, and they used the Cambodian government to do the dirty work. Mm -hmm. And they also accused His Excellency of having $500 million hidden in his house. To, to finance illegal activities. Wow, uh, may I cut you in on, um, did they ever found the money of, is it 50 million? No, in no, no, 500 millions. Oh my oh, goodness, oh, million, so that is a uh, yeah. My God. I, I can relate as to why he is uh, retaliating, Bong. Um, it's painful when you are being wrongfully accused and sabotaged of the things he did not do. And the same token, there were no justice on his side. Of course, he's going to retaliate back. He is going yep. to fight back. You know? Yes. He's going to fight back. Yes. And the truth was, they wanted to kill him. him. Yeah. yeah. And they wanted to kill him. And they did, though. They poisoned him. They, they poisoned him, and he was in the hospital for seven months. It's very bad. Yeah. And you know, whatever you see on the um, internet, Phnom Penh Post, Cambodian Daily, are all untrue. That was fabricated by the bad people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And now you must realize that, you know, internet is, is an open source media that anyone can go in and post anything they want. Mm -hmm. Half the time, Mong, certain information on the media tends to be untrue. Therefore, I don't really believe everything it is posted on there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I will, you know, I don't want to get into too many details here on the bad stuff, but I do want to talk more about the good things. Yeah. Hear it. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Go on. <laughs> well, over two years now, since 1995, His Excellency has been the chairman of UNOITC, which he controls nine regions with 205 countries. And let me say this again, 205 countries. Um, nine region, I just like unbelievable. Uh, nine region and uh, 205 country. That's is a lot, that's un uh, you know, incredible. That's all I have yeah. to say. The whole, the whole world, world. Yeah. the whole world, yeah. Not, not just one country, like all other world leaders. No. Wow. Mm -hmm. Again, with this kind of responsibilities, you will get some bad publicity on the internet for sure. Yeah. Absolutely agreed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Ontina, um, you want to say something? Yeah, I um, basically, you know, people out there are always going to say something bad about you, whether you're doing good or bad. I mean, some of the publicity there is half half untrue. They embellishing the truth. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just don't believe 100% what they say. Yes. <laughs> How about Onkali? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, China. You know what? You are absolutely right. His Excellency business and principle is very high. Now, he is an incorruptible person. He will not tolerate corruption activity. You know what, I, you know, to be honest with you ladies, I have never mm -hmm. met any individual with this much power.
and still humble. From listening to His Excellency choices of words and from observing his actions, I would not be surprised that his IQ over 220. Oh. <laughs> oh, lady, may I ask you? 20? Thank you. <laughs> Any of your ladies? <laughs> I think five okay. of us even not born high school from here. Yeah. No. Well, I was combined equal yeah. to one. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> Even five <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Any one point. Yes. Yeah. And you know, also, yeah. um, His Excellency Dr. Ray Chatham is a very smart planner. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a very smart strategist and a very smart policy maker. And let me um, tell you why I said all the above. His Excellency plans from the beginning of the rainbow to the end of the rainbow. He plans from down low to up high. And his, his Excellency strategy is phenomenal by establishing political ally from down Indonesia to Singapore, up to coast from Malaysia to Thailand and all the way to Dubai and from across the continent of United States to Europe. Now, this is a master of master planning and his excellency policy making is a high level and out of the box with a formula to overcome any obstacle that might present without anticipation. And the reason I say this, for the last 24 years, he has been at the helm of the financial pinnacle. If His Excellency doesn't have the wisdom or the strength of purity, he would not be where he is at today. And one of his former representatives quoted His Excellency's statement. This is His Excellency's statement. If you take the devil's money, you are bound to do the devil's work. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, you know, this statement is touched uh, me deeply. I hope all the future Cambodian leader will have his excellency pure heart. So there will be no corruption. Oh, that's right, Uncle Yan. Exactly, Bong. This means that he will not do anything that is legal or participate in corruption activities. And another thing I also like to share about His Excellency, he is telepathic, he has the telepathic ability. What do you mean? <laughs> well, um, I heard this on YouTube by Tom Price and the title is Currency mm -hmm. Reset. He quoted, Tom Price quoted this, okay? You, you gotta go get into YouTube and listen to it. Um, it should mean that if that he has the ability to transmitting to other people knowing and knowing their thoughts. Wow. Thank you, On Kalyan, for explaining. Thank you so much, On Tina, um, On Srey Kalyan, for all um, the information. Actually, you know, I did I wasn't aware His Excellency has so many credential and re, um, recognition. So um, we are um, now approaching to end of our program. Now, I would like to ask Nat Bong, Dissam, you sit there so quietly. Do you have anything common to His Excellency, Nat Bong? Yes, on Chavi. Tonight, I'm very happy to learn about Dr. Ray. I know Dr. Ray will take Cambodia back for us. I would like to thank Dr. Ray for all his help. Thank you, On Chawi. Back to you. Thank you, Nak Bom. Uh, now, let me Nari. So, uh, do you? <laughs> excuse me. <Yeah>. I want... <laughs> excuse me. Let me, let me Nari. Do you have any comment to His Excellency, Dr. Ray Chatham, please? Yeah, yes, dear. Yeah, I am learning a lot tonight again. I'm so happy to hear about His Excellency powerful. I am so happy that my country will be safe under His Excellency Dr. Ray. I am looking forward to go home, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know, my motherland. <laughs> I very, very happy and I'm gonna go pretty soon. Thank you, dear. Thank you. <laughs> 
So we all gonna go. <laughs> we are gonna go together. After we hear all about from Dr. Ray, we so happy and we proud of him. We will go home pretty soon. Absolutely. Um, now, um, Ontina, do you have any final comment to His Excellency? Please do. Yes, Mong. Um, thank you. Conclusively, um, I would like to add to our discussion tonight about a new topic that's currently happening in Cambodia. Uh, Hun Sen and his government are committing heinous and cruel acts against our people, and, you, and we know that. For example, he provided four hectares to the Vietnamese illegal immigrant in Kampong Chinam province. Mm -hmm. Instead of granting the same type of charity to Cambodians, he gave out casket to family all over Cambodia. This government intention is trying to wipe out the Cambodian race, Bong. Um, mm -hmm. So Hun Sen is carelessly borrowing money from other countries in China, Australia, and Europe, claiming that this is a type of international trade or relationship. He then uses the money to provide infrastructure, hospital, roads, school, elect electricity, and housing for the Vietnamese illegal immigrants. He also allowed Vietnamese country to invade Cambodian territory by giving them free land and giving them permission to buy out locally owned land and properties. If we don't get to, to the bottom of it, pretty soon there will be nothing left for the Khmer people. Do you all know that? Do we all, we all need to get together. Hun Sen is like every other communist leader. His only motive is to be benefit himself and his family. He incriminates our own people to go against each other while he is enjoying the power of wealth and being in control. For the past 30 years, Bong, Hun Sen borrowed many loans from other countries for his own benefit. It's painful that the future children of Cambodia will end up having to pay off his debts. The only person that I understand firsthand the cruel and egocentric way of Hun Sen is his Dr. Ray Chadam, who was wrongfully accused and punished for something he didn't even do and wasn't given any justice to until today. A way to preserve this beautiful country, Mongolia, we must abolish Hun Sen's regime once and for all and rebuild the empire together with Dr. Ray Chadam. I totally agree, China. Absolutely. You know, Mom, the Supreme Council Khmer Help Cry for Rescue has strategic plans such as, you know, as we always talk about over and over again, lobbying, liberation, control, <laughs> restoration. And then when we stand alongside and working with Dr. Ray together, I truly believe that we can make it happen. You know, um, I, I truly respect Dr. Ray. I truly believe in his plan. Dr. Ray Chatham, he is not the only epitome and a perfect role model for all Khun Khmer, but he's also the wor a world leader. He's also mm -hmm. the most You're right. remarkable yeah. and majestic person who's in control in the uh, finance world. And I am very happy to be part of his mission. Thank you, Ma, mm -hmm. I'm back to you. Thank you, Own China. Thank you so much. Own Golayan, do you have anything to add? Yes, I do, Bong. Um, I would like to express my utmost gratitude to His Excellency Professor Dr. Ray Chadam for giving all of us here and all folk around the world the opportunity to participate in liberating our motherland. Thank you. Thank you, lady, for your wonderful comment. Thank you so much. Anyway, I do not know about you, lady, but I am very confident that due time there will be peace in our motherland without thief Vietnamese and Chinese communists because His Excellency wisdom. I would like to close our first show by thanking our viewer and panelists. Nhat Minh Nari Suan, I um, do all our inspiration. We appreciate your time and your dedication. And thank you, Bong Di Sam, for your being here. And especially on China, Seth, on Kalyan, Nu. Thank you so much for sharing all this information about His Excellency, his responsibility, duty to the world. I am a speechless in how powerful His Excellency Dr. Ray Chadam is. I am so, so honored and proud to be part of Supreme Council, my help, my for rescue. 
before we close this wonderful evening, I would like to acknowledge Lok Chamtil, Swan Ho, Lok Pu, um, excuse me, Mr. Ng Sorapit, uh, for their guidance, support of our first Supreme Council Khmer Health Fight for Rescue Lady Viewpoint. And His Excellency, excuse me, and His Excellency Professor Dr. Ray Chatham, we all, the Supreme Council of Khmer Help Khmer Lady, wish to thank you and you, Your Excellency, from the bottom of our heart. You all, Excellency, give us all the opportunity to be part of history. Well, until we met again, the next month we will find this show and the information share of value. Please follow the Politics Supreme Council, Khmer Help Khmer for Rescue. Thank you so much and good night. <laughs> ដល់ប្រកនប្រកាសនាជាម្ចាស់ទាំងអស់ប្រសិនបើមានការខុចកងដល់ប្រកាសនាមួយនាងខ្ញុំនឹងក្រមការងារទាំងអស់ក៏ស
những cái mai tai mùa Hãy subscribe cho